26. Now, a group of climate change activists known as Extinction Rebellion are protesting outside the Wellington railway station dressed up as cows and dancing to disco music. Uh, the point is being made lightheartedly, I suspect, but it's a serious point. So we sent our Wellington reporter Abby Wakefield along to check it out. Uh, <laughs> Abby, what do you know? What's going on? I don't, people don't often dance at the Wellington railway station, do they, Abby? No, it's not often you get off the train and you see a bunch of cows dancing to Staying Alive by the Bee Gees, John. It's the first time I've seen uh, seen this happen. <laughs> uh, yeah, look, it's, uh, they've got some pretty good moves. Everybody there is social distancing. Well, what was that, there? Uh, everybody's social distancing there. Uh, this is a pretty safe protest. I won't say the dancers are safe, though. <laughs> Yeah, the, the dance moves are just definitely questionable, but they are following all level two guidelines. Um, and you're probably wondering why are there a bunch of cows dancing outside the railway station, so I'm here to answer that question. Uh, we've got Sienna Fitzjohn from uh, Extinction Rebellion. Sienna, why are you guys doing this? Uh, it's pretty simple, really. We want to see an end to mud farming in New Zealand. And why is that? Uh, well, the cows want to get out of the mud, for one. Two, it's terrible for the land. Three, it's terrible for the rivers and it's wrecking the climate. And uh, this isn't the only thing you've got planned today. Tell me through what, what else you're doing to get your point across. So after we finish our lovely little disco dance here, we're going to head down to MPI offices and then a bunch of other different agencies that we think are responsible for industrial daring in New Zealand. We're going to give them a heads up, tell them that the cows aren't so happy and to lift the bar. I just, just want to point out here, you know, we were talking before, you know, part of reaching our climate change goals is making sure that we have a just transition, that we bring our farmers along with us. Do you think that they're going to be a little bit offended by this? I mean, I think the cows are pretty offended about how they've been treated for the last, you know, few decades. So we want to raise that. Uh, but also there's a difference between farming and mud farming. We just want the worst practices in New Zealand to, to end and for that transition to regenerate agriculture to happen as soon as possible. Well, thank you so much for joining us. So this is part of a four-day protest that Extinction Rebellion are doing in Wellington. Uh, as, as Sienna said, they're heading to MPI next. Uh, and, yeah, we'll see what they've got in store tomorrow. Thanks, Abby. Really appreciate it. Abby Wakefield, live from the Wellington, Ra uh, Wellington Railway Station. I love the people walking past just pretending it's not happening. Did you see that in the background? Don't look, don't look, don't look, don't look. Don't look, don't look. 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 Don